Hi guys! Welcome back to another episode of What the Smut Book Reviews. <laughs> what the Smut Book Reviews. Hi, my name is Candace. I'm your host. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode, for another video. In today's video, in today's video, I'm already annoyed. Um, I will be reviewing for you guys Ecstasy Unveiled by Larissa Ion. Okay. First of all, I love this color. This, I also love this, but, <laughs> but this color, like purple is my jam. That's my favorite color. Um, this is Lore's book. If you've watched my reviews for this, um, for this series, you will know that I said in my last review, like at the end, I was chomping at the bit for this book. Like I needed... this fucking travesty. Um, I was chomping at the bit for this book. Uh, Lore, as a character, is so damaged but endearing that I just needed him. I needed him. Okay, so this is book four in her Demonica series. Uh, there's 433 pages in this book. Look at my hair. Oh my god. Okay, there's 433 pages in this book. Uh, you can currently get this book for your Kindle or Nook for $7.99. You can get the mass market paperback for this book for $7.99. <laughs> for $7.99. It's the same price as the digital. I've talked about this before, so I'm not going to go into like a whole tirade about it again, but just buy the book. Okay. Just, just take my word. Just do it. Um, you can find this book used on eBay in um, varying conditions uh, for about $5 with free shipping. So, dealer's choice, right? Whatever you want to do. Um, I will read you guys the blurb. And then we can break it down a little bit. Because I'm... I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I got excited. Uh, so, the blurb for this one says... Um, it has like those little pre, you know, those like where it's like in um, bold where, okay, it says a demon enslaved. Okay. Lore is a seminist half-breed demon who has been forced to act as his dark master's assassin. Now to earn his freedom and save his sister's life, he must complete one last kill. Powerful and ruthless, he'll stop at nothing to carry out this deadly mission. And then in bold, font again. Uh, an angel tempted. Ides is an earthbound angel with a wild side, sworn to protect the human Lore is targeting. She's determined to thwart her wickedly handsome adversary by any means necessary, even if that means risking her vow of eternal chastity. But what begins as a simple seduction soon turns into a passion that leaves both angel and demon craving complete surrender. Torn between duty and desire, Lore and Ides must join forces as they battle their attraction for each other, because an enemy from the past is rising again, one hellbent on vengeance and unthinkable destruction. Okay. The two main characters, obviously, are Lore and Ides. Lore is half human, half seminist demon. For those of you who have not seen any of the previous reviews I've done for this series, Seminist demons, <laughs> seminist demons, are essentially sex demons. Like they, they're like a, a a version of like succubus or incubus or whatever. Um, and they need sex several times a day, or they will croak. Uh, so he's half and half. He has a twin sister by the name of Sin. They're both. Uh, seminist, like, seminist demons, right? Half human, half whatever. In this realm that Larissa has created, there are no female seminist demons. All seminist demons are born male. So the fact that sin even exists is, like, weird. Um, in this world, uh, demons reach maturity at the age of 20, 
and they uh, get like a what's called a dermoir, which is essentially like an arm length tattoo sleeve that shows their parentage, their um, paternal parentage from like their dad's side, because obviously the male demon is the is what's carried down, right? That's how you got your demoniness, right? Um, so both Sin and Lore have their derm wars. They're, when they reach maturity, uh, Seminus demons, they get the derm war and they get some type of like power that can be channeled through that, that tattoo, like through their hands and, and whatever. So, um, Lore's gift is not so much a gift as it is like a curse. <laughs> uh, Lore can kill with a single touch even accidentally. So he constantly wears uh, like a glove, like long sleeves and like a glove on his hand. I believe, I think it's his right hand. I can't remember which one gets the derm war, but he wears like a glove all the time so that he doesn't accidentally touch someone and just like, you know, um, he's done that to several like bed partners uh, by accident <laughs> because like in the throes of passion, his gift will heat up whether he wants it to or not. And then uh, I'm fucking a corpse. Like, no, nobody wants that. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's Lore's gift. Sin, on the other hand, uh, basically has the ability to start plagues. Like her gift can also kill, but it kills with a disease instead of just like dropping the person flat. Um, Sin's book is the next one in the series, which I've already, I've already read, <laughs> so I'm a little bit behind in these reviews. Um, but uh, we'll talk more about Sin when we get to the next book. This book is about my baby, Lore. So, Lore was introduced um, more in the last book, which was um, Wraith's book. So, Lore was introduced as an assassin who has been hired uh okay so in in the realm of like the assassins there's like the assassins guild and uh for each faction of like people in this universe there is like a mm, like a society that handles their uh like checks and balances like you know what i'm saying like so the assassins guild basically is a bunch of assassin masters who uh have basically own oh, slaves they're they, they basically own assassins uh who for whatever their contract is for like you know this many kills or for this amount of time or whatever and in exchange you'll get this and what right okay so um lore and sin are both assassins for this guy detharu uh short short name death uh and he's a grotesque nasty demon uh and he basically uh kind of uh, like loki enslaved lore and sin sin got herself into some trouble and lore in an attempt to bail her out made a deal with detharu that he would uh be his assassin for like a hundred kills and then after that is it a hundred or three hundred no i think it's a hundred anyway um after a certain number of kills they'd be free, both of them, him and Sin. Uh, he's coming up on his last kill. He's super hype. And it turns out that the last person that he has to kill is Kynan Morgan. And I've talked about Kynan, Kynan in my previous videos for the for this series. Um, Kynan was human. Uh, after the end of Wraith's book, the, where there was a massive battle between... Um, angels and demons. Kynan died um, and Lore used his power to bring him back to life. So Lore's gift predominantly is used to kill, but he can use it to resurrect someone if the person died by natural means, as in not by supernatural means. So like if some if somebody died from like somebody cast a spell on somebody and they died, he couldn't bring them back. But if someone was stabbed with a mortal weapon, even if the person stabbing them was an immortal person, 
it's still a, a regular shanking and lore could potentially bring bring them back so that's what happened to Kynan essentially he brought Kynan back to life he suffered excruciating pain for doing so he's not supposed to do that per his contract with Datharu and so he was punished uh as a result someone has someone in the background has taken out a contract on Kynan and wants him dead Kynan was brought back to life and then he was charmed by angels to so that he's like impervious to harm so now lore has been sent out to kill him not knowing that he really can't be killed like there's only a certain there's only certain weapons that can be used against him or certain um types of people like only a fallen angel could kill him or something like that right um lore doesn't know that i don't think datharu knows that i don't remember if he does or not but anyway he lore is ignorant of that by this time, Lore knows that the other three guys who run Underworld General, um, which is the demon hospital that this whole series like revolves around, um, Eidolon, Shade, and Wraith, are all, he, he knows by now that those are his half-brothers. Uh, all of that played out like at the second half of Wraith's book, which was the last one. So Lore does not like want to kill Kynan because he, like, Loki also had a crush on, like, Kynan's girlfriend, Jim. Uh, but he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to sever now his newfound connection with his new brothers. Uh, but he has to do what he has to do because if he doesn't fulfill this last hit, um, he'll basically be uh, condemning sin to, to death or to eternal punishment or whatever. So that's Lore's, that's Lore's thing. Um... So he's like, I got to do what I got to do. Uh, uh, hopefully my brothers will eventually get over me killing Kynan. So he goes after Kynan. Um, he's intercepted by a woman. Insert Ides. Ides is um, an earthbound angel. She is essentially uh, like a guardian type angel who looks after uh, certain humans who are either charmed or who uh, will play a significant role. They're important to the well-being of the world. Um, she, I think when the book first starts, she has two or three uh, charges, charges left that she's looking after. And I think it's two. And then one of them like dies of natural causes or whatever. And she's now left with just Kynan. Kynan is in danger. She goes to intercept. She meets Lore. They get into it. They tussle. She's like, no, I can't let you do this because if you kill him, then I don't get my wings and I don't get to ascend up to the level. I don't get to go to heaven, basically, and, and be a real angel. Um, she wants to get there so that she can join her brother, Rami, who's who uh, ascended previously even though there was like a little thing where um where one of his charges was like super evil and tormenting somebody and she let that like he asked for her to intervene and help because he was too busy over here fighting this pe person go save my charge over here but she realized that okay that charge is evil and if I let him live if I help him he's gonna kill he's gonna slaughter innocent people so she didn't and he died and so Rami ascended, but or he eventually got his wings, but he felt some kind of way about it. She doesn't know that because, okay. So um, little does she know that the hit on Kynan and all of her other uh, people that are being like stalked and killed and whatever. Um, no, okay, so her other person didn't die of natural causes. Her other person was killed. I think. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, essentially, she she comes to a realization. Somebody's out to get me. Like, they're not after lore. They're, like, this isn't, like, some sick trick to, to get. That's what they think at first, is that lore is being tormented in some way or trapped in some way because the, the kills that he's being made to, to do are very sus, right? Um, but turns out, no, this is all about Ides. Ides 
uh, her, spoiler alert, her brother did go to heaven, but he went there with like a seed of, when he got there, he was told what Idess had done to his person by letting, by letting him get killed or whatever. Um, and he like harbored resentment towards her and that little seed of resentment grew and grew and grew to the point that he eventually fell from heaven. Like he, he couldn't stay in heaven with like that hatred in his heart. So he became a fallen angel. The fallen angel is one of the only beings that can kill Kynan, uh, who is charmed. And, um, he's been like the mastermind behind everything that's been going on with hospital and he was working with rogue for a hot minute like it, it's been it was like was he working with rogue fuck i can't remember anyway he he's been like behind the scenes tormenting everybody basically but his main his main focus is ides and he wants essentially to see her shot at getting her wings taken away right so uh ides is hell-bent on protecting kynan from lore Lore is hell-bent on killing Kynan and now having sex with Ides because he really wants her. Uh, and and that's, that's basically what, what happens. Like, they, they, they're going at it, you know, back and forth and whatever. And, um, yeah, so Lore is... Um, Lore is... Lore is... I just can't. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember how the book ended exactly. Like, I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to spoil, like, the the whole ending. Like, I kind of already did by saying Rami was the main villain. But, whoops. Um, but, yeah. So, that's pretty much the gist of what's going to, like, what's going to happen. Is, at one point, um, Lore himself becomes one of Idessa's charges. And so now she has to keep them from killing each other. Like if she lets Lore kill Kynan, she loses one. If she let, if anything happens to Lore, she loses one. So she's fucked either way. <laughs> so that's when things really get complicated. <laughs> so yeah. So that's essentially uh, the gist of the book. Um, I won't spoil the ending for you because, but I'll just say that it was really good. It was really good. Like, and this, the sex was also like really good because she has, she has a vow of chastity. She's not supposed to do that. If she does that, then her soul, her soul will be like impure when she goes to heaven and she might not get in, but, but lore though. Right. So, um, so yeah. So for the rating for the book, I gave it, and I know this is going to sound really ridiculous because I, I gave it a 9.25. <laughs> so I like, I liked it. Lore, Lore was my boo. So I had to give him like a little bump. You know what I mean? Um, if you like paranormal romance, read the, read this series. You'll love this. Um, there are quite a few books out in this series. Eventually, I think after Sin's book, it kind of merges into a different category, like subcategory series, like called the Lords of Deliverance. But there are still additional books that will feature these characters. So um, the series as a whole does have a good number of books. If you want to binge, you can definitely do that. Um, if you like paranormal romance, if you like demons and slayers and that, that kind of thing like yeah yeah just buy the books you'll like them um and yeah what else can i say i forget do i have anything else is that it is that it i don't know if i have anything else i've forgotten it by now i can't you know my brain is crap so uh yeah i would definitely recommend that you guys pick up this book i would definitely recommend that you guys read this entire series it is bomb if you like um I think I said this in my last video. If you like like Gina Showalter's Lords of the Underworld series or Cressley Cole's Immortals After Dark series or J.R. Ward's um, Black Dagger Brotherhood series, like those are along the same lines in terms of like, um, like uh, just the feel, you know what I mean? Like the, does that make sense? Like just the, the overall feel of the series, 
Like it's very binge worthy. Uh, the characters are very like you get invested. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's it. I, th I think that's it. I would definitely recommend that you guys pick it up. Uh, if you like me and you like my channel, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can um, join my members only Facebook group. I also have an Instagram and a Twitter account devoted to this channel. Uh, I will link them all in the description box below. And I'll put a little banner here for you guys to see on the bottom here. Um, I really appreciate you guys joining me for another video. I love you guys so much. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, literally every single one of the videos for this series somehow um, are just going to have thumbnails of me looking angered because the stickers on these fucking books are driving me nuts. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Something, something, what I'm thinking of. I don't know the words. I just know the chorus. Doesn't everybody just know the chorus for that? No, do you Look at this. Four, it says 4 97 hate this so much. Look at it. Look at it. This is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. I hate that. I hate it so much. Hate it with a passion. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> okay. I'm done. Sin. I'm sorry. I love you, but you're going to have to wait until my next time that I sit down because I can't. I've already done, like, a bunch. My back hurts. Oh, God. This just goes to show that I have absolute terrible posture when I'm not recording. Because I sit up so straight for these videos that by the time I finish... My neck and like my lower back are like screaming for help. <laughs> because normally Candace sits like this, slumped. But nobody wants to see that on video, so I gotta sit like this. But I really wanna just. Oh my god, that feels so much better. <laughs> Will I be a hunchback lady by the time I'm 50? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, okay. I love you guys. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. You know I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. No, I never even watched those movies. Terrible. Don't come for me. <laughs>